Have y'all seen this thing online with Bo Wallace going after Hugh Freeze? Um, I think it was yesterday or in the last couple of days, maybe last week or whatever. And I haven't read every single comment, but you know, years ago when Hugh Freeze was at Ole Miss, he had Bo Wallace as a as a quarterback. And I, you know, I didn't pay really that much attention to Ole Miss at the time. You know, so I don't know a whole lot about, you know, him as a person or a quarterback or whatever. But it seems like at, just out of nowhere, he's gotten on Twitter and online basically going after Hugh Freeze about, you know, problems that are making these inferences to all these problems that were going on at Ole Miss when he when he played for him. He's talking about getting shots and painkillers and, you know, drinking and that kind of stuff. So, you know. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people are thinking this is going to turn into this whole big, like, blown-up scandal involving Hugh Freeze at Auburn. I, I don't think so. I think it's just going to get pushed under the rug. But, like, where exactly is – and and don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to defend Hugh Freeze, and I'm not trying to attack him or anything like this. I'm really just talking about this because it's a little confusing and weird. Because why why is this happening? Like like why why is it happening? And why does it really matter? Um, you know, he he's going after Hugh Freeze, attacking him over stuff that happened years ago. When obviously, you know, Bo Wallace has you know moved on to other things. He's a like an offensive coordinator or some at some school or whatever. <clears throat> but. Um, uh, FCS or lower FBS or something, group of five, I, I, don't, I don't know. But, like, why why do this? Like, is he doing it because he's trying to send a warning to Auburn? Because if he did, it completely went off the rails. So, uh, you know, if, if this was just an honest attempt for him to try to convey a warning to the Auburn fan base or the Auburn players, it, it, it didn't work. <clears throat> it didn't work. Um you know, pretty much every comment, you know, that was made, like, like came back to him pretty retaliatory. Um, you know, him one, and, and he, he just kept, you know, tweeting over and over and over, you know. And at one point he said, I'm not going to argue with Auburn fans or, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and fight with Auburn fans. Hit your wagons to him and see what happens. I did one time, too. Holler at me in two years and we'll see where you're at. What, what what are you talking about? I mean, like, what, you know, if he's, you know, if you're going to get online and go after somebody, you know, whether it's Hugh Freeze or anybody else, be specific. Like, make a post online saying exactly what you did or exactly what, you know, he made you do, um, you know, that, you know, now you regret it or, you know, it ended up being detrimental to you in one way you know I, I read through all those posts and nowhere in it does he specifically say Hugh Freeze made me do this and he, he talks about doing stuff for Hugh Freeze so Hugh Freeze could get his money oh okay you know could, uh, clear as mud there buddy you know and, and again like I said I don't know anything about Bo Wallace I'm not defending him or trying to attack him I'm really just trying to make sense of this whole thing so so what do y'all think? I mean, this, this, this is kind of weird. Like I said, it's not going to have anything that's going to, you know, keep a lot of traction, you know, going. It's, it's almost like a normal news cycle. It's going to it's gonna filter out. But, it, you know, certain, di different people are sounding off on it, you know, and getting different, <clears throat> different comments. And, and most people are, you know, pretty much reacting to it the same way I am, you know, like, why are you doing this, and what exactly are you trying to, like, get across? I mean, all right, did you just wake up, you know, one day and decide you were going to go after, you know, Hugh Freeze and, you know, attack him for whatever reason? Or, you know, is this a legitimate warning you're trying to get across to the Auburn fan base and the Auburn players? You know, he's talking about, you know, other Auburn coaches has his number or something, like he's waiting on him to call him. I don't know. And apparently Hugh Freeze has done blocked him on – you know, the old Twitter, now it's X, it, you know. It, the whole thing really kind of seemed pointless to me. You know, most college football is probably standing about going, yeah, that's that's dumb, move on. But 
which is you know pretty much exactly what I'm gonna do. But just wanted to sound off on that and kind of check in and and get y'all's y'all's opinions and thoughts. You know, comment down if you know more about it than what I've than what I've mentioned. Hey, you know, tell me. I mean, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time digging into it, but I am curious is curious as to you know whether or not there are other you know more deeper things going on or you know is there really something about to come out you know scandal wise or whatever I, I doubt there is but you never know but anyway thank you again for checking out the content i know it's you know kind of rough getting getting started you know like i told somebody earlier this is some of the best terrible content on youtube i, I admit that you know whether it you know college football or just a funny story or, or whatever but yeah i appreciate y'all time to, I appreciate y'all taking the time to check it out. Um, hit the like button, share it to, to anybody if you think anybody else will get a kick out of it. And and as always, you know, subscribe. I post new stuff on here most every day. So um, yeah, y'all have a great week, and we'll check back in with you real soon. Later.